Hey, what's up, YouTube? Jalen Richardson here with another Pokemon video. And today, I have an eBay mystery uh, Pokemon lot. And uh, I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is it. Because I did get two things. Um, this and another thing, which is somebody's Pokemon collection, which I'll be opening up probably next week. Um, for So look out for that video. And... And this one, I'm pretty sure I got two. I, I did get two. I got two mystery boxes. So they're probably both in here. And uh, we'll see. I'm not sure of everything that's in here. But let's just open it up. Um, so I'm not, I'm not going to say anything. We'll just go through it. Um, so yeah. So here are the two bundles with a, a lot of packaging which is good all right so i'm not sure could either do both hmm yeah no now i'm actually still not sure if this is i'm not sure which one this is because i'm pretty sure i saw this card in the other lot as well. So, because I'm not sure, we'll just go through it. But both of these, everything I'm showing you is from one eBay seller. And both things I got. If Okay, so if this is the mystery Pokemon lot, then I got that in, like each individually for 50 something dollars. Ooh, there's a no. Okay, so this is no. This is the this is the collection. This is the Pokemon collection. All right, this is not the mystery lot. This is somebody's collection because I do remember now. So there are a lot of ultra rares in here, guys. A lot. So because it's all one. Thing and it's not the mystery Pokemon lot. I will just I will open both of these up since it all came together. Just had to get my scissors real quick. So I paid. Let's see how much did I pay for this? I paid about almost seventy dollars. I think it was sixty-seven dollars if you include the tax or the shipping $67 for all of these cards which doesn't seem like a lot it doesn't seem like a lot of cards I mean but once you see everything in here you'll know why I was willing to pay that much for it so there's like I see a bunch of good stuff already on the bottom of this stack so we're actually gonna go with this one first which there's good stuff on the bottom of, too. So now I'm not sure. Uh, okay, let's just roll this die. Um, odd number, we'll go with this one. Even number, we'll start with that one. Oh, jeez. That fell. Let's try again. All right, that's even. So we're st we are starting with this stack still. And I have my sleeves over here. Because there's going to be a lot of things that I'm going to need to sleeve up. So let's just grab some of the stack. And starting off with hollows, these hollow promos. Let's see, we got Rowlet, Poplio, Greninja, which is really nice. I won't sleep all the hollows because there's a bunch of them, as you can see. Got the Greninja, Zygarde, Olenduk Trio, Toxapex hollow, the Gengar hollow. Okay, so the ones that I really like, I will put to the side for right now. But, yeah, and I won't read everything because that'll just take a long time. But you'll know, like, what my favorites are because I'll put them to the side. Nice guard chomp. There are a lot more hollows than I remember just looking through these cards, though. Now we're getting into some, I think, forget. Might have been Shining Legends that those are from. Maybe. I'm not sure, though. You can tell me if you know for sure. A nice... Hitmonchan from Evolutions. 
Uh, Jolteon. These are a little warped, but they're actually... And a little bit uh, damaged, a little bit marked up on the sides. But other than that, they're not, they're not in terrible condition. They're actually pretty good condition. So, and these cards, like, have not been sleeved up or anything before. So it's pretty cool. I've never seen this Blaziken before. That's, oh, well, that's interesting. Put that right there. We got the Pikachu promo. Oh, that's nice, actually. Whatever. And you can tell me, tell me what your favorite Hollow is or what your favorite Ultra Rare is from this video in the comments. And, yeah. So I'm going to set those right there. Alright, just going to grab some more. I know I'm probably spoiling things a little bit, but here we go. Rock Raw, Falladios, Marshadow Hollow. It reminds me of yesterday's video. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. I... Got a full art uh, pull from Unbroken Bonds. Bunch more Pikachus here. That was really cool. Also, I'm not sure. Some of those codes might still be available. So, yep, go check out that video. Oh, we got another Rock Ruff. That's interesting. That's cool. Weavile. Pansier. I haven't seen a, a lot of these hollows before. Oh, here, another duplicate. Which is fine. Oh mind, that's actually great, because then you can keep one and trade one. Also, some more duplicate Pikachus. Or you could just get a master set. So, I don't mind at all, because this is a lot of hollows. This might even be the equal to or more than the amount of hollows I have in total just before I got this collection, this person's collection. Alright, so soon, very soon, we're going to get into... The ultra rares. So we're just gonna put some sleeves back there. All right, we have another Hoopa holographic. We got Gigalith, Chandler, Machamp. Oh, that's pretty cool. Garchomp. Oh, it looks like he separated these kind of like by types a little bit. But here we go, guys. Okay, so we are on to the ultra rares, starting with a Pheromosa, or yeah, Pheromosa GX full art. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. Which was actually look really cool with these green sleeves. I'm going to give it a darker green sleeve. Because that's pretty cool. But yeah, we have a Ferramosa GX Full Art. A Zerkatry GX Full Art as well. I have not... I've never like owned or seen these cards before. And look, just look at the back of this. Like They have not been sleeved or anything. They've been touching each other. And yet they're still in really good condition really great condition so i'm not yeah i'm not sure how i'm going to do this to be honest because it's a lot but i guess i'll just sleeve it up as we go so here's the zerka tree right there and then next we got the oh whoops the Dawn Wings Necrozma GX Full Art. I'm pretty sure, because of the set symbol, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure these are from Ultra Prism. Again, you can let me know in the comments. That's not right. But, yeah. We have the Dusk Main Necrozma GX. Pulled this once. I've pulled it once, I'm pretty sure. And then put it into a deck. And it's, pre it's pretty good in the deck. And we also have uh, Glycopod GX. Oh, yeah. I thought there was something a little bit different. This is a World Championships 2017 card. That's why. I was like, there's no glossiness or texture. And you can see there's Japanese on it. So. That's interesting. I did not know that. I'll put that to the side because I'm not sure what to think about that, actually. Nido King Break, we're into the breaks now. Which is great because I don't... 
I don't have too many breaks. And even though they're not very valuable anymore or um, used or playable, they're still cool. I like them still. We got a mega break. We have a Machamp break. A whole bunch. Whole bunch of cards. Claude Sir break. I'm not gonna be able to read all these. But here we have the Oma Star break. Or as Dark Ghoul likes to say, Lord Helix. So I might send this to him. Just because I like his channel. He's a good YouTuber. So if you guys like my videos and my Pokemon videos and you've not heard of him before, then go check him out. Um, yeah, his name is just Dark Ghoul. Just type that in and you'll find his videos. And okay, so we have a uh, Sun and Moon Lost Thunder promo Raikou, which leads me to believe this person went to a pre release and out of their evolution pack they got this which is what you get um when you go to a pre-release so that's cool because i don't have it so i'll take that and i changed my mind i'm not going to sleeve them up all while doing that i'll just show them to you we have a lissandre prism life forest Ooh, these are nice cyrus i have not had one of these and i believe somebody said something about there being they were going to switch the uh, text, and then they didn't or something. I don't know. You can let me know if you know what happened. But so Galio, Darkrai, my favorite. Might be my favorite Pokemon. It's definitely my favorite Dark-type Pokemon. We have Giratina. Bunch of Prisms. Luzamine. All right, and now we're into the EXs. And we have Agron, Charizard. All right. Mega Aerodactyl, which did is a promo, so it did come from the Aerodactyl box. You have a Blastoise, Kyurem, or Kyurem, Pikachu, nice. I actually did want this Pikachu, so that's really cool. And I didn't see all of these in the on the images, so this is really cool. We have a Mega Steelix, which I traded, so I needed that, so that's great. Steelix EX. Magirna EX, Latios, whoa, 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 okay, we have a Gardevoir, which is, oh, wait, wait a minute, I'm not sure, I th think, This might be fake? I'm not sure. Let me... This is fake. This is a really good fake card, but... Hmm. And I can usually tell. Like, that's how I was able to... This is not fake, but I was able to tell it was different because of the texture and the border. There's no glossiness, so... Hmm. If it's fake, it's a really good fake card. But anyways, we have a... Gardevoir EX Secret Rare, which is great. I pulled this card from uh, the first booster box I ever opened, Steam Siege booster box, and now it's in a deck. So now I have one keeping a collection or to trade, so that's really cool. We have a Ho-Oh EX, Dragonite EX, and yes, the Espeon EX. I did see this. This is also a World Championship 2017 card. We have a Yveltal EX, which is actually it was pretty good in decks before it got rotated out. Hoopa, Sceptile, Alakazam, Full Art, Mewtwo, Full Art. We have a Mega Rayquaza, which is a fake. Is it? Is it? Yes, it is fake. Okay. I had to see it outside of the... <laughs> Thing for a second because it does have this weird texture but you can see it uh it's it's like laminated kind of so 
Oh, yeah, and you can also tell from the back. This one's easier to tell, the back. This one's just more faded, and they, like, kept the border darker. But then middle was, like, lightened anyways. It is a fake card, but still cool because I haven't had a Mega Rayquaza before. And Umbreon EX, another Mewtwo EX, and a Mal a, Mal a Mega Alakazam EX. And that was just the first side, that was the first stack, guys. So, this has been crazy already. You see this? You see all these ultra rares? Like, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to have to do a lot of sleeving, sorting, and separating after this video. But this video is already 15 minutes, so I'm debating. Should I do the second stack now? Yeah, I should. I should. I will. All right. And I'm like, you can already see things at the end. They did a good job of organizing these by putting the good stuff at the end. So this one just seems to have reverses. Ver reverse hollow foils. There's still reverse rares. And still re cool reverses. Which I will. Let's see. I'll point out Jirachi. That one's not worth that much, but I, st I like Jirachi as a Pokemon. So, yep, here we go. I'll, I'll go kind of faster, quicker. I'm not sure which one's the right word. Incineroar. That one's really, that one's uh, a good card in Unbroken Bonds because I played it both times in my pre release decks. And it was very useful, very helpful. That one wasn't it, of course, but. It reminded me of it. Okay, so <laughs> already running out of room, partially because I had other cards here before doing this video, but it will work. We have a Magmar, another Yon Mega. Got some he Rotoms in here. It's pretty cool. All right. Golisopod. I play that online. I play that card online. A s interesting Swirlix. Oh, because it's an RC card. Okay. That makes sense. Another Raikou. Um, Pissimian. Just not. Gyarados, Reverse, Lucario. These are great cards. Another Incineroar. This one's different, too. You can pause the video and read these again. If you'd like. Boop. Set that. Right on down there. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Don't know. Here, this should be good. Good stack. Natu. You guys watch Leonhardt. Natu, how do you do? Right there. I don't watch him that much, but I know that much at least. Have a magic card, Skullipede. I think Antha Reverse. Nice. Sorry, you can tell me if I should, like, hold the cards closer or farther away. Or move my finger out of the way if you want to read them more or something. Just let me know. But here is the main reason why I got this lot. And, like, look at all the this other stuff. Like, I haven't even gotten to what makes it all worth it. And everything else has already made it all worth it, but... Here, we're getting into the good stuff, people. Getting into the really good stuff. All right, so we have a Gardenia Reverse, a Unit Energy Reverse, a Warp Energy. Uh, oh, this is a nice, I forget. Uh, this might come in Shining Legends or something, I don't know. But nice uh, Hollow Foil Energy, Dragonite Hollow, and a Secret Rare Fire Energy. Now, it is very off-centered, as you can see, but I just, I saw this, and I was like, oh, I, I have to get this, because this looks so dope. Like, you can, all right, you can see that this border is way thinner than this one, and same thing with the, well, yeah, the top to the bottom, and it does have a few, you know, little 
nicks here and there. Sorry for my voice cracking. <laughs> but, just, like, yeah. I do have to sleeve up these secret rares. Yes, secret rares, plural. Let's actually give this... An orange sleeve to kind of go with the fire vibe. But anyways, let's continue. We have a Regigigas. Regigigas. Tell me how you pronounce it. I say Regigigas, I think. But that he used to be my favorite Pokemon as well. It's interesting because a lot of people don't like him. But we have a Genesect, a Volcanion, which I've never, I've never seen this one before. That's... Oh, it's a promo. Alright, this must have come in a box or something. That's pretty cool. All of these must have. We have a Zekrom Hollow. A Groud. Okay, I just had to check. Because this one seems a little weird as well. But this Groud. And we have a Groudon EX. Which is a fake card. Um, yes. It is also a fake card. But still cool. You can also tell like if it like has a rainbow... Uh, reflection, kind of. That's a good way to tell a card's fake or not. But still cool. We have a black uh, Kyrum, Kyrum, Latios, and here we go. Mysterious Treasure. Oh my goodness. This card's worth, like, I forget. It was like $30 or something when I checked it last. But a Mysterious Treasure Secret Rare. A Multi-Switch Secret Rare. Rotom Dex Secret Rare. Wick, Full Art, Bridget, Full Art, Misty's Determination, Full Art, and Crushing Hammer, Secret Rare. Like, oh my goodness, you see all this? All this, plus this, is worth around like $60, even in this, in the condition it is in. And with me paying only like $10 more than that, not that I'm going to sell any of the cards, of course, but, like... That's just crazy. That is crazy. That I was able to get this lot. So, sorry, that probably sounded a little weird because I was trying to get the sleeve situation together. And, uh, yeah, because I don't have enough golden, I don't have enough yellow sleeves. For all of the uh, secret rares. Sorry you if you just heard my dog in the background. It's probably going to be barking for a little bit. But yeah. So definitely a great eBay. Uh, definitely a great Pokemon collection that we got going on here. Like this is this was someone's collection. And... I was able to snag it, which was, like, I don't usually do these kind of things. So when I do, it's, like, really worth it to me. So that is really cool. This has just probably doubled my entire ultra rare collection in amount of cards and in value. Like, wow. Didn't even sleeve up all the ultra rares because there was too many. It's just too many. So I might do another video doing a recap of this one with everything sleeved. This one I will not do a recap though for so I can sleeve up everything off camera and then go through it. So, yep, just stay tuned for that video and I'll see you there. Peace.